Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. A tornado outbreak in the Chicago area even bigger than we first thought. And today we're getting a clear picture of the damage done. The twisters ripping apart homes and businesses. We have live team coverage of the destruction and also new details from the National Weather Service on the ground looking at all that damage. We begin with CBS 2's Chris Ty. He's live in one of the hardest hit areas, Elgin. Chris? Joe and Erica, you had two tornadoes in Elgin, some of them packing up to 100 mile an hour winds. You can see some of what is left behind here. Down the way, you can see trees tipped over. Some trees have already been taken down. Houses have buckled, garages have collapsed. It is really hot this afternoon as the cleanup really begins. Folks can't believe how quickly things happened in just a matter of seconds, as cleanup is now going to last weeks. A five foot in diameter tree just snapped over like the one back there. That That's power. Tree. I mean, that is like unbelievable power. The power that ripped through Eric Nosel's property last night that took down sheds and decades old trees crisscrossed the community. Chopper 2 shows the straight line of damage it left behind. It was so fast. Chunks of subdivisions uninhabitable, chunks of homes on other people's yards. We got the car in and we got to the basement and it hit. But hit hardest more rural areas. I think a big reason that these doors or the whole barn didn't come down is luckily these windows were open. So the air could travel through. That lucky break and kept uh, Gunnar Peterson's horses, up. nutmeg and cinnamon, safe. I just wasn't sure what was going to go on, and it was scary, but unreal. It's very unreal. What's very real is the good fortune that there were no major injuries reported from all of this. And like it tore that up, but the house is 20 feet from that tree and nothing. He and his girlfriend were recording this tornado at a nearby golf course while another was ravaging their property. Unbeknownst to us, this was happening. I'm feeling very grateful that I'm safe. You know, all of my neighbors are safe. He feels grateful. You hear the sounds of chainsaws and earth movers all through this neighborhood. And as far as the eye can see, there is damage very similar to what you're seeing behind me. Folks say they saw entrepreneurial business owners lined up here this morning from as far away as Iowa and Wisconsin. Folks trying to make some money, trying to help these folks who need a helping hand in the days ahead. We're live in Elgin. Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Just incredible to hear those firsthand accounts. Chris, thank you very much.